Hello, 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 it's Alana. Hello, hello. Oh, I've got water. I just had a glass of water. There, gone. <laughs> I definitely woke up like this today. I have just woken up. Oh my goodness, it's 7.40. I slept in like two hours. The summer's coming. I can get up earlier. It's light earlier. So anyway, I woke up at three. And this plant was speaking. <clears throat> or someone is speaking to the plant. This this plant was <sighs> in my room. <laughs> right, and I'm laughing like a bit evilly, but lots of birds around this morning. I'm just shaking the dead seeds off it. I've got the reeds here. I'm going to do some weaving with. Just waiting for them to dry out a bit more, but not too dry. That's Lego. Man, I'm waiting for my coffee. So I was going to go sit in front of the bush and do this, but I'm not. <laughs> I can. It's just down there. I've literally just got out of bed. I've been up for a few hours, four hours or so, just clearing. Clearing, 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 because there's a lot of stuff going on out there. So, and probably for that reason, this plant's really strong in my field. And it's for good reason. This, it's a spiky plant. I call it spiky kumbungi. Kumbungi is not the local dialect, but it's the closest I've found so far. So I've got some um, centers I can go and drop into and speak to the elders more about that. And how they work with this plant. So at the moment I'm working with it in how I work with it and the messages that are being picked up for me. So a lot of the stuff might be just for me, but I think it's nice to share because I don't doubt that um, the things that I'm going through and processing are unique to me. You know, they're very global themes with regards to all the lower gut and all the lower fields, which we are all in if you're a human on this plane. So. If, you, if you're in that belief system. I don't see many people speaking from the higher consciousness perspective, so feel free to prove me wrong on that. I well, hope that I am. I wish that I was, but it is what it is. And even some of the most highly thought people are still so stuck in their emotions. So, I mean, it's not bad to have emotions, <clears throat> but as an emotional driver, it's not ideal. So, fantastic to call in the spiky bulrush. So she's got deep red seeds. They have deep red seeds. So it's an androgynous foundation. I'm obviously still working through to refer to that as she as well. I mean, the seed is often referred to. The seed can be male or female, really. It's kind of androgynous. It's often referred to as a female. But, and then the reeds can be a masculine given its structure and support. But actually the feminine has, especially in some ancient um, teachings, it's the feminine that has the structure from the creation zone to structure to structure it so anyway that's other someone else's teachings the ancient moon teachings and no doubt coming up because it's hot it's heavy in my field today so as well as that there's many perspectives on what's going on over there at the moment. i'm not going to touch it too much at the moment because it's not appropriate for me but definitely i'm in a lot of talks with people about the higher perspectives of that and it's difficult to to see when you're really in it um of course and it's a really terrible tragedy as to how the whole thing has unfolded so there's definitely not there's definitely everything that i don't agree with with that um and it's uh, it's not a like i'm happy or not happy about it i just have a belief that there are other ways to go about this stuff and i'm trying to do that I'm trying to do that as best as I can so and as fast as I can um, to show that we don't need to do it that way but as and as well there's a lot of things going on outside of my scope that is working to timelines or code streams or however you want to see it as well so it's a bit of a somber a cup like this isn't it I'm trying to get into the higher processes of that stream um, and jump onto that before the weekend if I can um 
and stay off so um, I can actually turn my internet off while I do these. I just want to do a lot of video filming and get through because it, it's really useful to me and I find that I can um, move up it quickly. So I, I was going to talk about the plant Spacky Borash and the abrasive garden womb and moving through it that way. I've said it a few times so there's not much more way, many ways I can say that. Um, I don't need to go into big explanation hours of explanation about it I really want to invite you to sit with it if you need to it might just be for me but if there was anything abrasive or irritating on your gut so the positive sim the positive um, symptoms that this can help for is any upset gut anything with relationships career that's causing any sort of anything that is upsetting to the gastrointestinal system out of balance anything that it is out of balance so any gastrointestinal system so if the more acute systems like an indigestion or heartburn so remembering that the gastrointestinal system starts from the mouth and the lips and the saliva and the tongue and the teeth and goes down to this whole system and everything that it passes on the way so it goes through quite a big respiratory system here it goes through the circulatory system in the heart so it's all linked and whatever we're putting in diet nutrition wise and air okay and speech and words okay it's all going through that system so the phys all those physical symptoms the gastrointestinal system has i'm just watching the birds fly around if you're wondering what i'm looking at has and I'm, you probably can hear them i hope you can has one of the most symptom based profiles out of all of them i mean they all have extensive ones but there's so much stuff in the gastrointestinal so everything from anything in the mouth mouth ulcers poor hygiene gingivitis all of that stuff is gastrointestinal linked and hygiene and diet um and all the stuff that comes with all sugar alcohol all that stuff bad food anything throughout the throat so we're talking like then all cancers of the gastrointestinal system okay any radiation therapy that's caused problems like consequences of anything through the throat and then i'll come into the emotional mental and the spiritual symptoms i'm just going physical for now so down into the chest esophagus if we've got damage to any of our esophageal lining lining any of the epithelial cells any of the smooth muscle tissue and anything affecting that that we're doing down into the the abdomen area which is a huge system and winds around and into the gut into the acidic slightly acidic environment how much of that gets disturbed today down into all the intestinal systems pancreas liver feeding into that the control systems there bile hey darling you got your shoes on down into the bowels and exiting out and the excretion process and then linked into the gen genial urinary system or just the urinary system. You are cute. Yeah, I need to brush your hair. So I might leave it there. So that's the physical symptoms. I might be able to just whisk through it quickly. I might go for a walk. Then going into the emotional symptoms of grief, blame, um, denial, mistrust. Um, that's enough, isn't it? <laughs> all, of those, all of that category of symptoms. Then moving into, this is what the spiky brush is, good, the abrasiveness of this. So like treats like on the intrinsic approach and then going out to meet power with power on the more extrinsic approach. So like treats like, power meets power. So they're extensions of the homeopathic principles, yeah? And um, Pahala's teachings, power meets power extrinsic meet the power of what you're seeing which is a reflection anyway and then the intrinsic is a reflection but it's just that different it's that up of it like treats like on the intrinsic so that's where that's why these dark red seeds in that lower system that red's often associated with so going into to those emotional systems and then spiritual systems symptoms spiritual symptoms of and not spiritual mental rather mental physical emotional mental and then the mental symptoms of depression anxiety that's all fueled by poor gut health um, anything absorbing of the neurotransmitters so all gabapentin 
Um, acetylcholine is a big one. Serotonin. I'm watching my daughter, right? So thank you for your patience. She's running around chasing, she's chasing her shadow. Coal on this side of the house, eh? It's a bit of a southerly. <coughs> you gonna go play in the sand pit? I'm on photo booth and I don't I don't I'm using photo booth so I don't want to pause it because it just stops it. And this isn't gonna be much longer. Here comes the dog. Here comes Bluey. <laughs> Sitting with my teeth are all moved since I got my braces off. I had braces when I was younger and they've just all moved back. I wasn't supposed to have braces. I had like nine adult teeth removed and I still now after nine teeth removed have a overcrowded um, dental mouth cavity system. <laughs> I, need, I need to get a coffee. I'm going to put it on now. So anyway, I just wanted to clear that up because I want to get into that high process and all those things I'm overlapping this morning in my clearing. So they're the sort of sim physical symptoms, emotional symptoms, mental symptoms related into that area that the spiky bulrush, kumbanji can help like traits like on the homeopathic level, so the subtle body levels. Um, just sitting with it in ceremony, calling in, in, calling it in if you want to do that way. Um, and I've put that in reclaim and recover, reclaim and recover. So I'm doing an accelerated gut womb for this week really quickly um, for a few different reasons. So let me know if you've got any questions on that, if you've seen my original protocol and what that is. Um, I'm not shortcutting with regards to step two and three. Definitely reset and reboot and replenish and restore are important factors when you're working in the Trinity structure. But in the quadrality structure, it is okay at this speed to go from reclaim and recover just into a propulsed structuring in step four, which is the jaga, which is the grass tree and the flowering grass tree, which then nearly finish flowering. So um, I have encapsulated that medicine in some pillules um, and there's plenty of opportunity to still sit with that energy. So I'll leave it there. I'm going to go see my family and put some coffee on. Have a fantastic day. Um, stay safe. Be beautiful. Be kind to each other. I love you. I love. Okay. Bye.